Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the sixth news from today's newspaper, Dawn. Prime Minister, Chief of Army Staff, will to go all out for repelling. Agree. Aggression. Uh, for repelling, I am reading this once again, it was not so clear. Uh, Prime Minister, Chief of Army Staff, vote to go all out for repelling aggression. Concern, con concern voiced over rights violations in Her Kashmir by Bakar Sajjad Sayyid. Islamabad, Prime Minister Imran Khan and his top national security aides on Thursday vote to go all out for defending the country in case of aggression. The resolve was expressed during a meeting, meeting held between Prime Minister Khan and Army Chief General Kamar, Kamar Bajwa and Director General Inter-Services Intelligence, Lieutenant General Faz Hamid. The meeting took place in the backdrop of reports that India was planning a surgical strike against Pakistan. This has been twice stated by senior officials. Now see the picture, photogram, Chief of Army Staff, sorry, Chief of the Army Staff General Kamar Javed Badra and ISI DG Left General Faz Hamid call on Prime Minister Imran Khan at the Prime Minister House on Thursday, White Star. Over the past fortnight, more lately by Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi during his visit to the United Arab Emirates. It was resolved that the defense of the motherland will be ensured with the support of entire nation at all costs. The Prime Minister office said, the PMO said the meeting had discussed the external and internal security situation and professional matter pertaining to the army, expression of concerns about the uh, human rights abuses in occupied Kashmir and mention of ceasefire violations and Indian sections along the line of control in the media in the media statement about the meeting left a little doubt that the Indian threat was the main agenda of the meeting. Concern was expressed over continuous human rights violation in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the PMO said. Ceasefire violations and the frequent provocative measures from Indian forces along the line of control came under discussion, it further stated. Pakistan believes that India could be planning to attack it into power, refusing internal pressure and divert the world's attention from the aggravating situation in occupied Kashmir. Mr. Qureshi, during his UAE trip, had said that India was trying to get a nod from important players for surgical strikes inside Azad Kashmir in Pakistan. He had said that Pakistan would respond with a full force if attacked by India. Pakistan armed forces have been on high alert for weeks to preempt any Indian misadventure. I am making absolutely clear to the international community that if India was to be reckless enough to conduct a false flag operation against Pakistan, it would confront a strong national Pakistan resolve and be given a befitting response at all levels of the threat. Make no mistake, Prime Minister Khan had said last week.
Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid Ahmed earlier this week warned that any war between the two nuclear armed South Asian tribes would be mutually destructive if she, India, dared to threaten our borders, it will turn into a final battle uh, that history will remember. Temple bells will, strong, will stop ringing, grass will cease to grow, and birds will stop chirping. Vice of America quoted the minister as having said implicitly warning a uh, warning of possible nuclear exchange with India in the event of a war. Apple briefing. Meanwhile, Foreign Office spokesman Zahid Afir Chaudhary at the weekly media briefing said the world should stop India from undertaking any irresponsible act which could jeopardize regional peace and stability. <clears throat> The deliberate targeting of civilian populated areas and continued escalation of tension along the LOC is a patent Indian ploy to create a reckless pretext for conducting a military misadventure against Pakistan, Mr. Chaudhry said. He said Pakistani forces were fully ready to deal with any misadventure by Indian side. The spokesman urged the international community to take serious notice of the malicious Indian propaganda that not only aimed, at the defame, aimed to defame Pakistan, but also politicized international fora and, and imperiled peace and security. In the end, the formal request, if you have not yet, please subscribe our channel and press the bell button to get the press from us. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice time. Goodbye.